two, three, fuck it. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Gary and today I'm giving you guys a really cool After Effects tutorial and I'm bringing it over to After Effects today just because I thought we we're doing too much Photoshop and Illustrator. We should bring it over to another Adobe product and get going. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a really nice logo reveal so you guys can show your friends, make a little cool little cool transition or cool effect onto your portfolios and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you guys an example really quick of what I did. I did this for one of my WM ex um, exhibition brandings. And if you guys want a little background on this logo, it's for um, the Fredonia School up north in New York. It's like a really big music school. I did this logo for them. They're doing a huge exhibition inside the um, one of the halls. So basically, if you click on the portfolio, you can see right here that my logo is up. And uh, it doesn't look like anything else, but you see how it can like it, like writes itself inwards and I don't know what to call it yet I'm gonna have to think about it for a little bit and give it a name later on before I'm writing this video But basically it's really easy to do. It's not gonna take any time at all. So let's get right into it So you guys are going to need after effects you guys are going to need basically your own logo and I like working on a black background or a regular colored background. It doesn't really matter necessarily. You guys can use any color background you want. But just take your logo and import it into the kind of um, composition of the project folders. Drag it into the timeline to create the composition. And now you guys want to decide how long you want it to be. I usually work working around for about 9 seconds. And I'm going to change my compo composition settings Excuse me, to 1920x1080 just because I think it's a lot cleaner and I'll make this logo a little bit smaller. So basically the next thing you want to do is you want to click on your logo or your signature that you're going to be doing. You're going to want to make sure it's a transparent so you guys can write behind it. Go to effect, go to generate and go to stroke. And now that you guys have this, all you want to do really is basically click on your text, grab your pen tool and you're going to want to zoom in. And once you guys zoom in, you guys basically can grab your little moving tool around and you want a pen tool inside the logo, basically however you want it to write. So, you know, I want it to go down here and then come back around. And this is what you basically want to do. And I'll go up here. We'll cut down. And this is all you want to do for the whole entire logo. And it might be, seem a little boring to you guys, but it's really easy to do. And uh, it's actually kind of fun in a way, you know, I like doing this kind of stuff just because it's a lot easier to kind of make stuff my own way and kind of um, do some cool things. Of course, if you click somewhere and you want to click somewhere else, you guys can just basically hold all and click there. And then you can go back in and click with your transform tool, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing. So basically, you want to do this for the whole entire logo. You guys can zoom in. As I said before, grab that pen tool again and let's just say we're gonna come down here, do that line, maybe cut this off. And then how are we gonna go down? We're gonna go, let's say up and around. And we're gonna color this in. And basically you wanna do this just over and over again. And you guys can do it with different logos. You guys can do it with different fonts, different letterings. You guys don't have to use a logo. You guys can do it with anything you want. You know, bring that up across, maybe bring that back down. And it's really fun to do and it's really not time consuming at all. Just because you guys can do this when you guys are having fun, talking to your friend, on the phone with someone, and it's just really easy to do, so. Let's just say we're gonna go up here, come back down. And overlapping stuff is actually fine, believe it or not. Some people might get a little hesitant doing the overlapping, but it's totally fine. No one's gonna hurt you for it. And you know, I'm gonna come up here, and I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna come back into the logo and go up to this N. Go through that circle and then bring it around to the stroke. So you guys can see that the stroking I did was a little weird. It's not too clean. There's are some parts that I messed up. So you know, I can change it. I can grab my pen tool and I'll grab another transform point and uh, really do whatever I want. But all I want to do now is basically grab your brush size and you want to change the color to something different, maybe like a red, and grab that brush size and bring it upwards. Excuse me. Click on sorry. Click on all masks. And then bring that brush size upwards and basically do it so it covers all of the white. And if it does not, you guys can basically pick stuff up and move it around. 
you guys can lower the brush size and you want to do it to just cover all the white and then it doesn't really matter what color you guys got you know it doesn't really matter and you basically can do whatever you want now and now that you guys have this done go to right here where it says paint style and it says original image click on that and click to reveal original image and basically what's going to happen now is if you click right here where it says endpoint if you bring it all the way back you guys can bring it forward and it'll actually write the logo for you so of course when you guys are doing this yourself you guys want to take your time and do it because some parts are a little messed up because of that stroke size but in all let's just say we're going to do a little quick animation you want to click right here where it says end and let's say we're going to have it not write itself and it's going to go for let's say three seconds and it's going to go to zero go to four seconds maybe create a uh, a keyframe which by the way if you click these arrows go to effects stroke yes click right here to create that keyframe and go to six seconds or three four what's seven seconds got to get that math skills up and bring it 200 percent if you guys basically just click somewhere on the page and click the play button you can see that it kind of like unwrites the thing and then it writes it back up so it's really cool it's really universal you guys can use it in many ways and it's really good for branding stuff it's really good for branding your logos and projects it's really cool to show your friends and uh, I really thought it was a really cool tutorial to show you guys on how to do an After Effects because it's really good for logo reveals and it's really good for stuff like that. Of course, if you guys do want to see more examples, head over to the description below. Go to this WM Exhibition brand identity. I'm still working on it. It's a really big work in progress and I just really am putting all my effort into it. You guys can see that I have like animations and stuff going on. So I'm spending a lot of time putting into this. So if you guys can hop over to this and leave an appreciation on the project, that would mean the world to me because this is going to be one of the main um, pieces in my portfolio for college. So of course, guys, if you did enjoy this tutorial, make sure to leave a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.